Today on the channel, we got a double dose of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem's Playmates line with the young version and old version of Splinter. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review. And today we're back at it with another Mutant Mayhem unboxing with the young version of Splinter and old version of Splinter. But for all your Splinter, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle needs, and everything else under the sun, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $99 does ship free. And of course, flat rate $7.95 shipping. New for Entertainment Earth right now. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And two exciting figures that I had to pick up. And I do love this line. This Turtles Mutant Mayhem line. If I was a little kid, this would probably be one of my main collecting lines in this day. Just because it's so fun. And there is a ton of different characters in different versions of those characters. It really does feel like an old school 80s, early 90s toy line as well. Hard part, for, hard part for me is... There's only so much room in a collection. There's only so much finances you're doling out to some stuff. And as much as I do like these, I like some of the Mondos a little bit more. I like some of my wrestling stuff a little bit more, obviously. But very, very fun line. And I've been collecting a lot of these as they've went on clearance. That's where I've been picking up a lot of them. Trying to get deals any way I can. But I am enjoying this line a whole lot. And there seems to be no stopping this line with the TV series now and another movie on the horizon. We're going to get more and more of those characters here. But the Splinter I got for like $6 on clearance and then this is a more recent one the young version of splinter which is perfect to display with those turtle tots so a lot of fun stuff about this line just really wish i could collect more of it instead of just having to pick and choose and waiting for a deal like we usually do and we're gonna dive in i guess should we go in age order we'll go young splinter first then we'll go to old splinter I guess that's what we're going to do right here. But we got old Splinter looking nice and young. He's got like a toupee on or a little bit more hair, whatever you want to call it. He's the hit dad, of course, at the time. Got the record player going on. Mutant Mayhem, Nickelodeon logo. Big brick wall, purple brick wall with some ooze dripping out of it. Very uniform packaging, of course. Does say young Splinter, sensei in training. Four and up, Mark Summers. Thank you for asking. Four and up on this one. So if you see any three-year-olds, kick them. Just kick them. Do whatever you got to do. But nice packaging here on the back. Huge cross sell. One thing you got to have in a toy line is a cross sell. Let's know what else you have to buy. Do got a little blurb down here. Let's see what it ends up saying. Young Splinter, Sensei in training. Sensei in training. Splinter made the sewer a home for his four turtle tots. And now he's adding a dojo. He teaches the toddlers ninjutsu to defend themselves. And someday, their city. His weapons, broom and classic hits dream to keep his family safe oh but it's a nice dream it's a nice dream doesn't always happen though as we've seen with the turtles over the years oh can we get it out of the package here see you later goodbye plastic prison see you later goodbye and we're locked in like a young todd mcfarlane we got rope twist ties we got plastic twist ties choose your own twist tie adventure todd what say you ever thought about using rope twist ties we see plastic an awful lot but rope's a dangerous game no no? You said what? Oh my gosh, Todd McFarlane said he's been going to the jungles of the Amazon. That's far from Cambodia, a different side of the world there. Uh, but he has been looking for Amazon rope. He's been looking for trees and things to make uh, the best rope. So there's a possibility. But what year? Whoa, that's a long ways away. See you later. Goodbye. He's thinking 2028 possibly for rope twist ties. So we'll see. We'll stay tuned to that, I guess, in the future. But let's dive into this splinter figure here. We got Splinter out. He's got his nice uh, broom here. He's ready to sweep. He's ready to mop. He's going to do whatever he needs to do. Mop, mop, mop all day long. Mop, mop, mop as I sing this song, I guess. Black end here. Nice wood. Almost looks like something a witch would be riding off into the sunset in. A nice accessory. Another one of those accessories you could use with other toy lines. A very nice size. Nice feel on that. Same thing here. This is a great toy that you could use with a different toy line if you wanted to. A nice record player looking very, very nice here. Doesn't close or anything like that. 
nice plastic thing, but it looks really, really good. And like I said, would be great as part of your figure photography for any of your other toy lines you wanted to. Very, very nice. So $9.99 for this whole package here. For some people, this record player might be worth $9.99 just for that. Uh, so added on bonus of a figure here. But now we got Splinter out, and I forgot all about it. He has flocked hair here, like an old school Panther for the Masters of the Universe. Very cool flocked hair on that one. Love the big push broom here. Of course, it was the 80s. I believe this was supposed to be the 80s splinter. And everybody's dad in the 80s had a big old push broom. My dad, of course, looked like Tom Selleck back in the 80s. People would always say, is that Tom Selleck? And no, it's Tom Peterson. Close, but no cigar. But he had a big push broom like this, like a young Tom Selleck, or even better, like a young Don the Predator Fry, of course. But looking very nice, the splinter. Got the big old rat ears going on. Got a little hair on the side. We've unboxed quite a few rats lately. Rat King we just unboxed on the channel as well. So check out that review if you did miss it. He's got a nice plastic shirt going on. It does say New York. So very uh, themed, of course. There's sewer rats from New York, the turtles from New York, all that. New York on the shirt. Got orange sweatpants going on, little wrappings down on the feet. Got three toes down there. Got two gripping hands out of the package. Got a nice uh, tail here. That's the thing I don't like about rats is their tail. If they didn't have that long tail, I'd like them a whole lot more. Of course, we got two rats in our house here. And no, my daughters aren't rats. No, they're not. But we do have two pet rats as well. Uh, they're very nice rats, as you guys have seen on the channel before, as along the way, I think. Uh, but the tail here, nice articulation on it, side to side. Got a little twirl in it as well. Nice pink color, uh, side to side articulation. Arms all the way around on this splinter for us. He does got side to side single jointed elbows, hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, of course, that uh, nice hair limiting some of the articulation. Waist articulation, legs do go up. No side to side, we do get just straight up legs. And then you got ankle articulation on him here. I don't think he's going to fit on a stand. Oh, nope. I was going to say, oh, he does fit. No, I don't think he's going to fit. Nope, does not fit on a stand for whatever reason. But he does look really good. Love this version of Splinter. It's kind of fun, and it was really funny in the movie. Very comical as well. Can I get him to stand? Maybe not. Maybe not. There we go. There we go. But very comical in the movie, of course, going back, like just like seeing your parents or yourself uh, many years ago, decades earlier, you're, of course, going to look different. Except for me, I've looked like this since I was born, of course. Uh, the 80s, I looked a little bit like this. I guess I had a big push broom like him. No, I did not. But this splitter, really, really fun. And for a $10 price point, worth it just for the conversation alone. A fun figure here. But of course, the original line, this is the splinter that came with that. I did get the four core Ninja Turtles. I did get their Turtle Tot versions. And I said, you know what? If I'm going to get those, I better get Splinter to go with them. And that's exactly what I did. And we're finally unboxing the original splinter from the line right here. And there he is. Old Splinter looking good. Uniform packaging once again. It says Splinter Master Sensei. Right there, Mutant Mayhem, of course. Turtles, Mutant Mayhem on the back. Got the blurb down low. Got the generic blurb up top. Busting out of the New York sewers are four bodacious brothers ready to kick butt. Born from mysterious mutant news, these tubular turtles and their radical rat dad have trained in the art of ninjutsu to become a bad guy bashing super team. With their buddy April O'Neil, they're about to face the gnarliest mutants the world has ever seen. I've been waiting for clearance on the mutants, never see it. See the turtles on clearance, but never the mutants. I don't know if you're like me. Splinter. Rat Dad. Splinter is coping with the fact that his four sons are growing up. He's made a wonderful sewer home for his family, but now his sons need independence, and New York needs his sons. Weapons, walking stick, sword. Dream to protect his sons. He's just a father that wants to protect his family. That's what he wants to do. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. And, of course, we're locked up in ropes once again. It's all about ropes. We're just shooting ropes here today. Long ropes. See you later. Goodbye. That's what we're doing. Can I pull it out? Can I whip it out? Whip out the ropes. Here it is. Got the twist ties off to the side. Got Splinter out of the package. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's dive into old Master Splinter here today. Older version of Splinter and a very uh, head nod, a little tip of the hat to the old school Playmates line here with all the weapons on the weapons rack tree. Looking very cool there. And then you do get the walking stick with hidden blade. There it is. Hidden blade inside of there. So very much like the old school Splinter of old. He's got some of his old tricks back again here today. But now we got Splinter out of the package. Of course, one Jackie Chan played the Splinter. And Jackie Chan, of course, Rumble in the Bronx is where he was known to most of the kids back in my generation. We said, man, you seen this Jackie Chan guy? And of course, over in Japan and China and the rest of the world, they'd known Jackie Chan for decades at that point. But that was his breakthrough hit, as we do know, of course, in America here. 
But we got Splinter and uh, time waits for no one, including Splinter. He went from brown fur to gray fur throughout. Still got those big rat ears, but he did gain a pair of glasses. Lost the push broom, but got some chunky teeth and a little bit of a goatee. Got the sensei, ro sensei robe over the top, looking good. Purple belt as well. Still got that tail, that tail drooping a little bit more this time around. Got the purple uh, belt, I think I said that already. Got the white shirt underneath, a little bit gray, kind of dirty, kind of grimy. He lives in the sewers after all. Got the hands going, a little bit of gloves. I don't know if it's supposed to be gloves with the hands showing. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then, of course, you got the fur going on. And now he's got gray sweatpants here. Of course, arms all the way around just like the last one. You get single jointed side to side at the elbow. Hands back and forth. Head back and forth all the way around. Nothing limiting it this time. No waist articulation this go around. But you do get legs that go up. No knees, anything like that. Just uh, bends at the ankle there. So pretty much uh, limited in the articulation department, especially compared to him over here. But both very fun figures here. Cool to see the yin and yang. You put this with the grown-up turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I guess. Put that with this one. The turtle tots get this splinter. And all is right in your shelf. All is right in the world. Two fun figures. And like for the combined total, like 15 bucks for both of these. Gotta say, felt like a deal at the end of the day. Would love to collect all these, as I mentioned, just not in the cards. Uh, but I will dabble. I will pick and choose. I'll look for some clearance. I'll look for some deals, and I'll grab some of these along the way. But what about you? You picking up these? Anybody all in on this line grabbing every single figure? I have a feeling that's probably not the case because it is aimed more towards kids. I think most people are picking and choosing if they're getting in at all. And I think most adult collectors diving into the NECA, the Super 7, Loyal Subjects, whatever turtle line you like, they're probably diving into that one here. But there is some charm. There is some fun with these if you're playing along at home. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at PressTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Master Splinter times two, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.